Congratulations uh, on the move. Yeah. Was, was it tough to make the move? Uh, you know, it's always going to be hard once I've played a club for so long. But uh, you know, I think I, I've seen the bigger picture. I spoke to a few a few ex players uh, that played in the championship, and I think uh, it was an easy one in the end. In terms of that I had to get down here and play, you know, in a in a league that is kind of prestigious. The, the grounds in the league speak for themselves. Uh, and I just want to play at the highest level possible, and I had to come down here to, to make that happen. That's interesting. Who's, whose advice did you did you seek? Who did you speak to? Uh, I spoke to Steve McLean, uh, Rowan Vine, uh, Patrick Craig. A few people that had been down here before and kind of made their moves. You know, Vine had he's been there in the championship and made you know kind of big money moves. Uh, so I thought, you know, through the whole the whole time, it'd be best to speak to people that, along with mum and dad, obviously, that goes without without saying. I mean, what challenges do you see ahead of you making that that transition, or, or the fact that you've been in great goal scoring form? Do you just simply just have to hit the ground running? Do you, do you have that inner confidence that you can just come down and and score goals quickly? Yeah, you know, I'm always confident that, that I can score if if I play a game and I don't score, I'll be I'll be asking questions. But I think. Uh, you know, first and foremost, just to settle in, you know, get to know all the boys. Uh, you know, there's a game Tuesday night, which is good. It's always good to get straight into it. So, working hard, you know, first and foremost, uh, getting at the team and, and, and see where, where, where that takes us as, as a personal level and, you know, as a club, because I think, uh, you know, it's fair to say this club, you know, it's massive. It's, it's probably a Premier League club playing, playing in the Championship. You mentioned the fact that there is a game uh, tomorrow night at home against Notts County in the uh, Capital One Cup. Three games at home uh, on the bounce, following up from that win on the opening day away from home. A great victory uh, at Brighton. That must give you great confidence that maybe some of the, the errors that were being made last season, uh, the preparations have been better this time around. Yeah, you know, I think uh, the, the win speaks volumes for the boys. Obviously, I've no... I've not met them uh, personally all but when the game was going on. I was travelling down, but uh, you know, I was kept well informed for the, for the club secretary. So it's a, it's a great start for the club. Uh, hopefully we can build on that and, and kind of look up the league and see, see how far we can go. Now, I remember before it was confirmed with uh, Sheffield Wednesday that, that Rotherham were linked with you. There was also an option, I understand, yeah. to stay in Scotland with, with Rangers. Was that, was that a possibility? Uh, I personally only I had permission to speak to to Rotherham and, and Sheffield Wednesday. You know I don't know the Rangers one. I think that's just came out in the last couple of days, but I don't think there was any formal bids bids made there. But uh, you know when I came down here, I, I looked at both clubs, had a look around uh, both stadiums and and training grounds, and you know uh, on a personal level, I think everyone had been telling me you know whatever feels right, and and, and Sheffield Wednesday felt right for me. Uh, I felt at home straight away looking around the stadium. Uh, spectacular and I'm, I just can't wait to you know get out there and start playing. You said a few moments ago that you want to be playing at, at the top level obviously playing in the Premier League would be great with with Sheffield Wednesday also do you, do you feel playing in England playing at, at championship level in England will help your international chances as well? Yeah I think uh, that's that'll come secondary you know first of all my my aim is to, to be successful here and and if with that comes comes a Scotland cap or a call up then then all the better. You know, as I say I'm I'm currently still in the twenty one squad for for these qualifiers. But uh, if it comes it comes, you know, I am I'm happy here uh, to be playing football regardless it's, it's a bonus if it does come. But uh, yeah, it would be nice. Obviously you want to play you want to play international level as well. So if that happens I'll I'll be delighted. Now just a, a couple of things I want to ask you about. I'll come on to your tattoos in a moment. Um, but I want to ask you about your um well how you are at home, because uh, we, we remember seeing you at home when you were in Scotland with your old flatmate Kevin Moon, yeah. and he was uh, pretty scathing about mm -hmm. uh, how lazy you were, you didn't do the housework. Yeah. Are you going to be having your own home when you're in Sheffield, or are you going to be trying to, uh, well, pair up with someone else so you don't have to do the hard work again? Uh, no, I think I'll look for a place to say. I know <laughs> Moon's a compulsive liar, so I wouldn't <laughs> trust too much what he says, but... Uh, but now, nah, as I say, it'll be, it'll be, you know, time to settle in. It might take me a couple of weeks. I'm going to start looking for places and that, and, and speak to the boys, see what kind of, what kind of areas and that. So that, that will be kind of next thing on my agenda.
And just a, a final one. Obviously, you're famous for your your longer hair, which is now cropped. You've got the you've got the beard. Uh, also, you're covered yeah. in ink, aren't you? Just show us one of your um, mm -hmm. more recent tattoos. I understand it, involving a, a lobster yeah. and a, and a bag of chips yeah, as well. Just chips, what's the reasoning that... behind that one? Uh, well, it's a long story, but to cut it short, uh, I had a I had a shirt uh, the last couple of years that was kind of covered in these these lobster and chips, uh, and it was my favourite shirt. You know, any special occasion, I'd, I'd wear that. But uh, I lost a few buttons, and kind of it's a bit worse for wear now. So I've just had something to kind of give me a, a memory every time I look down in, in my good times in Perth. Well, Stevie, you are literally a colourful character. We really appreciate your time. Good luck at Sheffield Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you.